Scrum Theory, Principles, and Values In this video we will discuss the Scrum Theory and the three pillars Scrum relies on transparency, inspection, and adaptability. Lastly, we will discuss the Scrum values that include commitment, focus, openness, respect, and courage. Scrum is a lightweight framework that helps people, teams, and organizations generate value through adaptive solutions for complex problems. Let's discuss Scrum theory and values in detail. If you like the video, we request you to like and subscribe to the Agile Mania YouTube channel to encourage us to provide more valuable information on Agile and Scrum. Agile Mania is a team of passionate professionals with years of experience focused on consulting organizations in transforming businesses with digital and agile. We play a key role in accelerating your digitization journey and help you navigate to a highly functioning agile culture. As stated in Scrum Guide, Scrum is founded on empiricism and lean thinking. Empiricism asserts that knowledge comes from experience and making decisions based on what is observed. Lean thinking reduces waste and focuses on the essentials. Scrum employs an iterative, incremental approach to optimize predictability and control risk. Scrum engages groups of people who collectively have all the skills and expertise to do the work and share or acquire such skills as needed. Scrum relies on these three pillars. Let us discuss more on these three pillars to understanding their roles and why they hold such importance. Transparency. Inspection. Adaptability. We will discuss each pillar in detail to have a clear understanding. First, transparency. Transparency means not hiding something. We can pick up the example of the object like a clear glass of water to understand the meaning of the word transparent. Work must be transparent for the people involved in creating value, and artifacts in Scrum serve the purpose. Product backlog helps teams understand what is needed to meet the product goal, sprint backlog makes work visible, and increment helps realize what has been done so far. Artifacts that have low transparency can lead to decisions that diminish the value and increase risk. Transparency enables inspection. Second, inspection. Individuals who work on Scrum should consistently examine the outcome and progress towards the product goal to identify deviation during events. This review should be accomplished even more regularly in complex work to adjust the process to meet the product goal. To help with inspection, Scrum provides cadence in the form of its five events. Lastly, adaptability. Inspecting some parts or processes that may not be working correctly, so it's better to adjust it soon. The sooner the changes, the better the minimization of deviations. If any aspects of a process deviate outside acceptable limits or if the resulting product is unacceptable, it must be adjusted immediately. Adaptation becomes more difficult when the people involved are not empowered or self-managing. A Scrum team is expected to adapt the moment it learns anything new through inspection. We will understand this with a simple example. The product team is developing a cause and effect of the vaccination drive that a country has undertaken. The product team has visualized the work needed to meet the goal in the product backlog, such as data collection, data analysis, and reporting and generating insight. While working on these backlog items, teams move those in the sprint backlog during planning to help understand everyone what the team is working on. At the end of the cycle, all done work becomes part of the increment for further inspection and adaptation. Now that we have discussed the Scrum theory, it's time to learn about the Scrum values. Scrum is a framework of standards, roles, and practices. The framework enables individuals and organizations to find out what works best for them. Along with the processes of Scrum, there come the core Scrum values upon which the Scrum framework is based. These are Commitment Focus Openness Respect Courage We will discuss each value in detail. First, Commitment Scrum teams must be committed to progress and willing to have practical objectives and stick to them. This is a team activity where you are a part of a team, and you are accountable to work together and conform to our commitments. Sprint-based commitment, Sprint reflects the realistic goals and short time duration to achieve these goals. Thus, the team must be committed to their tasks to achieve the Sprint goals. Commitment as a team, as a team, we need to welcome the changes and represent adaptability. As a team, we can achieve the product goal in smaller chunks. 
In case of any issue raised, the team can gather and discuss to come up with a concrete solution to tackle the issue. Commitment as an individual, being an individual in a team, we should contribute as much as possible to achieve the sprint goal. This represents our commitment as an individual. As an individual, we can exhibit a commitment to learning, collaboration, following scrum values, working software, etc. Next, focus. An iterative incremental approach and timely delivery in Scrum helps to keep us stay focused on the product goal. Once the requirements are understood and the goal is set, the most effective way to attain the goal is to be goal-oriented. It motivates to deliver faster, better, and yield more. By focusing on a goal, a team can avoid resource wastage and deliver on time. This Scrum value leverages a lower rate of risks and provides ample time to improve and deliver the needful. Third, openness. The Scrum induction requires transparency and openness. We need to investigate reality with a specific end goal to make sensible adjustments. Team members should be open about their work, progress, what they learned and the issues they are facing. Also, we should be open to working with colleagues, recognizing individuals to be individuals and not assets, robots, or replaceable pieces of hardware. As team members, we should be open to sharing feedback and gaining from each other. Fourth, respect. As a part of the Scrum team, we should respect colleagues, their decisions, and their experience. As efficient team members, we should also respect diversity. We should respect our stakeholders by not building anything in which people are not interested. As responsible team members, we need to completely adhere to the Scrum framework and the associated Scrum roles. As a part of the Scrum team, we should respect each other's skills, knowledge, and insights. Lastly, courage. Adaptability to change forms the bedrock of any Scrum project, and courage is needed to accept a change. Scrum is all about taking risks and finding out an optimized solution. The Scrum team is allowed to think of different approaches to work the best and most appropriate solutions. To implement new things to the project, we need to explain these new ideas to the team. By adopting these five Scrum values in the product development, we eventually make our team follow the basic Scrum tenets. Following these values helps harmonize the team so they cooperate to create unique ideas for enhanced results. And in the process, it also helps the team to become self-organized and self-managed. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive updates on our new videos.